Hello everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, good day, good morning from wherever you're calling in, returning in. Thank you for joining. So this time around, I've got some good news for you. Yeah, good news. And we're talking about how to be romantic. Hmm. How to be romantic. Not everybody is romantic, you know. And assuming you're watching me right now, you want to know how to be romantic. Okay? And one thing you should have in your mind, to be romantic does not mean to be expensive. No. It doesn't have to be expensive. It's just some little touch here and there. Just some little touch here and there to spice up everything. Hey, thanks for joining in. Sada. Thanks for joining in. So, there are just some little spices here and there, little things here and there, little fixes here and there to make the relationship spicy. Hi. Hi, Sada. Thank you for joining in. <laughs> so, we're just talking about how to be romantic in your relationship. Okay. So, um, just some little things, like I said, some little things you can do here and there to make the relationship spicy. So if you are with your partner, for example, and he or she wants to hear, I'm good, Sada. How are you doing? And where are you joining us from? Please type in the comment section below. Thank you. I'm doing great. Hope you're doing great as well, Sada. Sada Moin. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Okay. So, there's some little things you can do here and there to spice up the relationship, like I said. And if, you, if your partner or your spouse want to hear um, the word, I love you. Hi, Sada. I'm streaming from Switzerland. Yes. Okay, so if your partner wants to hear um, the words, I love you, I mean, it's a good idea to go ahead. Okay, that's great. Great. Great to know where you're tuning in from. Okay, it's a good thing to do what, I mean, to tell them you love them, but sometimes you don't just want to go ahead and tell them, I love you. So there's some things you can do, you know. There's some little things you can do here and there to make them, to tell them actually that you love them without really, without saying it. Okay? And then we go, and so we're going to look at these tips here and there. Number one, what you can do is post them a good old-fashioned love letter. Okay? If you don't know how to write a love letter, oh my boy, oh my God, you can go and learn it. You go and learn it, okay? So write your partner a good-fashioned love letter. Number one. Number two. Sadamoy says no hate love. Yeah. Um, no hate love. Okay. I'm not sure what um, you want to type, but that's okay. Um, so number one, learn to write a good-fashioned love letter, okay? Send them a letter, a good letter. You can learn to decorate it. You can draw some heart on it. Okay? Just let them know. Let them know that you love them. Send them a letter. Number two, you can send a romantic email. Okay? Maybe your partner just sits in the office and just sees um, a, an email just pops in and it's from you. Telling them or telling him or her that you love her or him. Wow, this is something great. This is something that can spice up spice of the relationship so well number three place a love note somewhere it will be easily found okay you can place a love note somewhere it could be easily found okay it could be in the car it could be in the lunch box it could be under the pillow it could be by the phone it could be even on their computer you know you just write a love note and just paste it somewhere where they can easily see it without having to look for it Okay, this could be a very great way, a very wonderful way to tell your partners that you love them. All right. And the next is, um, we can also use a multicolored 
um, sidewalk chalk to draw, okay? You can use the chalk to draw somewhere, maybe on the wall, maybe on the ground, as a, um, where you know your partner is going to pass, you know, is going to walk through. And you just write it somewhere where your partner will see. And wow, this could be a very great way to tell them you love them, you know? Um, if you Now, for those who are not living together, maybe you're in a distant relationship or your partner happened to travel, you know, what you can do is before going to bed each night, um, a phone call could be a great way to tell your partner that you love them. You can just give them a fast con um, phone call at night and recite a favorite love song, you know, over the phone. All right. You can just like call your partner to tell them, wow, I love you. Good night or whatever. That will be at night, you know, a good night call and tell them you love them. Or you could just call them and just recite a love poem over the phone. These are all things to do to spice up your relationship. Give your loved ones a compliment. You know, always give them a compliment. Wow, you look so beautiful. Wow, you look so great. Wow, you are awesome. Wow, you're the best man. You're the best woman in the entire world. We respect women, no matters. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love men who respect women. I really do. Thank you for respecting the women. <laughs> thank you. Wow. So, give them a compliment, all right? Give them a compliment. Give them a compliment, you know? Tell them they look great. Tell them they look awesome. Okay, so that is it if you want to tell your partner how much you really love them. And now, um, if your partner needs um, physical contact, you know, there are some people whose love language is actually physical contact, you know. If your partner is the one that um, uh, wants physical contact, there are things that you can do, you know, to, to make them feel loved. And one of them is by giving them uh, a massage Okay, giving them a massage you can give them a very good massage. This will be very much appreciated from a partner, you know, whose love languages who love, you know, to be touched. Okay, also you can keep in physical contact as often as you can. For example, when watching TV together, praise, okay, oh. <laughs> you can um, keep the contact as close as possible. Maybe when you're watching TV together, you know, you, you spend, you're like on each other's arms. Maybe you're, you're, you, you, you eat together. Okay. You watch TV together. You're having dinner together. Make sure you keep that um, contact. You keep that contact close. Um, so to say, what's your name? I'm Glorious. I'm Glorious. Thank you. So you keep that contact always going, you know. This goes a long way to increase that romance in your relationship, okay? You can also just have the hands together. You can uh, make sure the, the, the feet the feet and the, and the hands are touching each other. This is very, very important for people who love languages, physical contact, okay? These are some of the ways you can make the relationship romantic. And then another way is by giving them a hug. Okay, you can give them a hug, give them a good hug, a warm hug. Okay, put your hands around your loved ones in public. Well, I everybody wants to be loved, everybody wants to feel loved. So, show your partner's love, and especially in public, you know, make him or her feel special. Put your hands around them, and especially, especially in public, do that. Okay, they really, really, really appreciate this. This is very, very important. It's really much appreciated in a relationship, and it makes the relationship um, romantic. And um, yeah, hold hands as you walk side by side. As you're walking side by side, make sure you hold hands. You're talking to each other. You're holding hands. You're holding hands. You know, talking to each other, holding hands. Cuddle up in your pajamas and watch a romantic movie together. Always learn to watch romantic movies together, you know. Always learn to watch movies together. Make sure you kiss them when you get home and kiss them before you leave home, okay? When you get home, make sure you, you, you kiss your loved ones. And before you leave home, make sure you kiss your loved ones. These are all forms of support, all forms of, um, 
of romance and uh, your partner will have highly 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 appreciate it okay so if your actions speak louder than words for your loved ones then you will want to focus on gestures that express your feelings okay so maybe you just want to show um actions you know um towards your loved ones you want you want to show it in actions okay these are some of the things that you can do 